finally filming this video again after two times of trying and not succeeding but yeah okay hi everyone it's Aika and for today's video I will be taking you guys on a day of taking photos for Instagram and yes I have been really active on Instagram lately because it's a way for me to express myself and also an excuse to dress up and put on some makeup and look pretty. It's actually pretty early right now. It's 9 o'clock a.m. and I woke up for this because it's been raining here in Japan all week, you guys. And now the sun finally came out. I'm so happy. I just want to mention that this video is sponsored by Ericam and I will be talking more about them throughout the video. I'm so excited. I'm going to divide this video into two parts. The first one is how I take my photos outside, like in my backyard, front yard, or just any wall here in my neighborhood. It's actually a great way to look for backgrounds. It's to like walk around your neighborhood and check if there's like a cool wall or like a plain wall. So we're gonna do that first. I'm just waiting for my mom because she's the one who's gonna take photos of me. The second part is going to be how I take my photos at home. So if you're not able to go out, I got you sis. I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to elevate your at home photo shoot. Mom, are you ready now? Yeah? Okay. So this is my outfit for the first photo. You guys, guess where I got this top? This one's actually from Daiso. I got this one for like 100 yen, which is 47 pesos. 47 pesos for a top. And then I'm just wearing this low-waisted jeans with it. I got this one from the thrift store. It actually flares out at the bottom, topping it off with this black tiny bag. So like what I mentioned, my mom will be taking my photos today and guys, She's not the best at taking photos. Like the perspective can sometimes be super cropped. The angles are just weird whenever she takes my photos. So there were times when I wish that I could see what the photographer is seeing on the lens. This application lets you do that. First thing that I do is to turn on the Wi-Fi button. So it doesn't really matter if you have Wi-Fi outside, but the button just has to be turned on. And then you open the app together. So at the top of the application, there's gonna be a pop-up of the other phone. So I'm just gonna click the iPhone 8 Plus where my mom will be taking my photos. My phone's now connected to my mom's phone and I get to see how I look like while she's taking photos. So this is me checking the angles on the phone and telling my mom where to go. Another tip that I can share with you guys is to have an inspo photo on your phone. So what I love about Ericam is that it allows me to view my inspiration photo while I see how I look like in the live stream. So there's actually a button on the bottom part where my inspo photos are stored and I can easily like expand and then shrink the photo whenever I don't need it anymore. So to add the reference photo on the app, all you have to do is to go to Instagram and then copy the link of the photo you want to recreate. And then after that, just head back to Ericam and then click save. During the live stream, you can also control the photographer's camera with a timer. This is helpful if you're taking photos alone so you don't need to go back and forth. By the way, I will be putting the link to Ericam down below so you guys can check them out. And here is how the photos turned out. Now on to the second location. I love taking photos in the grocery store. Every weekend we go to the grocery store to buy some food and I try to put on some makeup and dress up so I can ask my sister to take some of my photos. There's actually a lot of like backgrounds you can have at the grocery store. You can go to the drinks area, you can go to the ramen area, to the snacks area. There's just something about a grocery store photo. I don't know, it looks aesthetic to me and I love taking photos at the grocery store because we always go there anyways. I'm just wearing a baby tee and I actually tied it here at the back so it's so it fits my body really well and I'm also wearing a mini skirt. That's it. I'm finally 
finally home and I'm gonna show you guys how I take my photos inside my room. The materials that I need is like my tripod and my phone of course. I get the tripod with the case for the phone so I can just put my phone on the tripod and then another optional material that you guys can use is a remote shutter that you can connect to your phone. The first location that I like to take my photos in is on top of my bed. I know plain and simple. I like to have my sheets kind of like basic in a white color or in any like solid color because I want my outfit to pop up more. Another tip that I can share with you guys is to have some props. I took out my laptop and I also have some pokey here. I thought the color was really cute. Another setup that I like to do is a collage selfie. This is pretty easy to do. What I like personally is a white background so it looks more cohesive and so it doesn't look too busy at the back. Especially because there's gonna be four photos of you in one photo. Did I make sense? I don't know. So I just set my phone up in front of a white wall and then I start posing. Okay, this is where my creativity and like my face expression comes into play. So I just try to experiment with different like face angles. Yeah, face angles. Here I have a lollipop with me that I bought specifically for this photo. So the application I use to make the collage selfie is just the layout by Instagram. You can add this in the app store. Mirror selfies have been a thing now, but I think that's too common. So the one that I like to use is my photo booth app on my laptop. There are two ways that I like to take photos in the photo booth app. So one is just like by using the photo booth itself and just like posing and then setting the timer on my laptop. It just brings me back to the old times where people would use photo booth to actually like post for photos. I like to use my phone and treat my photo booth or my laptop as like a mirror. I think that looks really cool as well and it's super duper easy. I think anyone can do it. You know I'm taking my Instagram game to a whole new level when I start taking photos of like feed fillers. I don't usually do this. I don't know. I just like didn't care about my feed. But now that I've been posting a lot, I think it looks really nice if there's like a feed filler in between like your outfit photos and like my selfies just so it doesn't get like too bombarded with my face on it. So I have this door with like a hanger here on top. I'm gonna put a bag on it and a shirt, a cute shirt. The belt will look cute here. Cute! This fun shirt. We're kind of going on a theme here with pink but it's okay because I love pink. Ta-da! Those are all the photos that I will be taking today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And once again, I want to give a shout out to Erika for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to have the link to the app down below and I hope that you guys check them out. If you ever try to recreate the photos that I did today, make sure to tag me on Instagram on your Instagram story and I'd love to check it out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye guys!